May God bless you all. On Thursday, the 21st of January, in the Scots Church in Valletta, there was a very interesting ecumenical service. It centered on Jesus' word, You are witnesses of these things, Luke 24, 48. So it is interesting to see that Jesus spoke these words in the context of his apparition after his resurrection and he spoke these words when he spoke that it was necessary that the Messiah had to undergo suffering be crucified but on the third day God the Father will resurrect him now we as Christian communities we as churches have undergone and still undergoing a grave sin what is this sin in front of a secularized world that is closed in a way in its thinking that it's still searching for meaning we tend to lose our meaning by trying to portray a Christianity which is based on preaching but less on witnessing Pope Paul VI said that today's world needs more witnesses than teachers so what are we going to witness we're going to give witness about what the Lord is doing in our lives if it is true as we find in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4 that he the Lord Jesus took on himself all our iniquities all our sins and instead he gave us salvation we as churches are called to witness in front of the world out there what the Lord has done for us if we as Christians as churches remain disunite remain disunited what kind of witness are we bearing what kind of testimony are we giving to the outside world the Edinburgh conference in 1910 already saw this and with great courage all Christians asked the same question of today's Christians if we say that Jesus is our Lord if we say that we have the power of the truth we have the word of the truth that is Jesus if we say that Jesus wants his disciples to be one why are we disunited Jesus sent his Holy Spirit on his church to renew the church to give the church a strong impetus the impetus of love of unity and I would say of prophecy in today's world where everyone wants to do his or her own thing in today's world when men and women are searching for their individual identities we as Christians have this strong power this strong message to give through our witness we are called to be prophets of unity but unity not in the sense of conformism but unity in obeying the Holy Spirit in obeying the will of God in obeying as we read in the Acts of the Apostles God not man this has been and always will be the challenge we undergo as Christians but this is the sole way to the truth that God wants from us he wants us to be church of service church of truth church of love 
church that meets the needs of the people in God's way. It is right that Edward Chilibix in his fantastic sentence explains it all. Christianity is not a message to be preached but an experience that becomes a message. What kind of experience we Christians are giving to one another? What kind of experience we Christians are portraying in front of the world? There is a dire need that today's world see us Christians united in prayer because spiritual ecumenism, that is prayer, unites but dogma divides. God's Spirit is given mainly through prayer. So while in dialogue, theological dialogue is important, but much more is important, the power of prayer. So let us unite as Christians together to pray, to let the Lord lead us in our way. Let the Lord help us to love him through one another, because this is a secure and sure way. So Father God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood, and the Holy Spirit, help us to be one church. One church most of all in prayer. One church that really wants to serve you. Help us to be humble, to learn from one another what does it mean to be a Christian. What does it mean to be Christ. What does it mean to be Jesus for today's world. Help us, Father God, also to live this peace amongst us first and then use us as an example to give peace to those who are afflicted, especially the separated, the divorced, those who have committed crimes, those who are bankrupt, those who are poor, those who are in jail. Use us, Lord as instruments of peace for your children who need this peace but first help us to live it with one another in the churches as we come as one church so that through this unity you work through other people's lives by our witness we ask this Father in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And may God Almighty bless you and protect you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.